you'd need to use these new snipe filters right now the first filter that we have is just the 550 filter now all you guys want to do is put the maximum bow up to 550 and it's that simple it's very easy to use and it's a great snipe filter to use if you're just starting out with sniping you guys can see any colored card on this filter as long as it's posted up for 550 and under now obviously seeing like dark matters and even like opals is kind of rare but it's definitely possible people see them all the time and this is a pretty consistent filter for the most part i probably give this filter around like 20 to 25 minutes to see a snipe on and literally every single card on this filter that you see is profit because you can't sell a card for lower than 500 mt so definitely give this filter a try the next filter that we have is the celtics lowest filter so you just put the team the celtics and find the cheapest celtics card so the cheapest celtics card is going for around like 2700 so what i would do is bring down the max bump out down to around like 1700 and then you just keep refreshing and literally every single thing that pops up will be a snipe on this filter this will be another consistent filter because a lot of golds and like sapphires and like emeralds do get thrown up for very cheap just because some people don't know how expensive celtic players really are and this is a very consistent filter to use and it's a great filter to make mc fast i probably give this filter around like 25 minutes to see a snipe on at the longest and if you're not seeing a snipe in that long then i would switch to a different budget filter the next filter that i have is galaxy opal lowest so you just want to put the color to galaxy opal and find the cheapest galaxy opal card so the cheapest galaxy opal card is going for around like 4600 mt so what i would do is just lower the maximum bow down to like 3600 mt and literally every single thing that pops up on this filter will be a snipe this is another amazing filter to use very underrated too in my opinion there's a lot of snipes that you can get on this filter for cheap that do sell for a lot of mt and this is a very consistent filter as well i'll probably give this filter like 25 minutes to 30 minutes to see a snipe on if you're not seeing a snipe in that long then i'll switch to a different budget filter the next filter that i have is takeoff lowest now this is probably one of the best filters in the game if not the best so what you want to do is just find the cheapest takeoff player and the cheapest takeoff player is going for around like pretty much 23,000 mt so what i would do is just lower this down to like 17,000 mt and every single thing that you see on this filter pop up will be a snipe like i said before this is probably the best filter in the game to use right now to make mt very fast and it's a pretty consistent filter as well i probably give this filter like 30 to 35 minutes at the longest to see a snipe though if you're not seeing a snipe in that long then i would switch to a different budget filter and now we got the dark matter filters and the first one that i have is dark matter and put the theme to atlantic on this filter you guys can see carmelo anthony kevin durant chris bosh christophs porzingis patrick ewing and Kawhi leonard so this is a pretty crazy filter and it's very easy to set up all you have to do is just put the minimum bow to 500 mt and just keep refreshing it's as simple as that these dark matter filters are extremely easy to use but they just take a really long time to see a snipe so if you guys are feeling patient and want to snipe a dark matter definitely give this filter out a try and make sure you guys just have at least 100,000 mt to use these dark matter filters because most snipes do get thrown up for 100,000 mt and i'll probably give this filter around like three hours to see a snipe on if you're not seeing a snipe in three hours then you can switch to this next dark matter filter and the next filter is for if you guys want to snipe the new dark matter cards and that's going to be dark matter limited edition and again we got lonzo morning glenn robinson who isn't really a snipe so i would pass on glenn robinson jimmy butler damian lillard carmelo anthony and chris bosh so all you guys have to do is just put the minimum bow at 500 again it's as simple as that Oh my god okay there's a glenn robinson he's not a snipe you know that actually kind of scared me so don't pick up any glenn robinsons because he won't sell for profits but yeah this is the best filter to snipe the new dark matters you guys will have to be extremely patient on these dark matter filters though this filter i'll probably give around like two to three hours again to see a dark matter snipe and make sure you guys have at least 100,000 mt to buy the snipes if you see one and if you're extremely patient i promise you guys will eventually see a snipe and the last filter that we have is dark matter power within now this filter is probably the best one the cards on this filter is dark matter Steph Curry, Luca, LeBron, Shaq, but Shaq is not a snipe. So if you guys see a Shaq pop up, please do not buy them or else you'll lose MT. There's Kawhi Leonard, Kareem, and that's all the cards on this filter. But literally all those cards except Shaq is going for insane profits. And again, you just want to put the minimum buy up to 500 MT. It's that simple. And then you just keep refreshing. Like I said, do not buy Shaq. He's not going to sell for profit. And just keep being patient. Just keep refreshing until you see something. Like I said, if you guys are patient, I promise you guys will see something. I'll probably give this filter to like three to four hours to see a snipe on this filter and if you guys do get a snipe on this filter it's gonna be worth it because all these cards are selling for crazy profit and if you guys want to see me make 1 million mt using these snipe filters click on this video right here